Just give me an intro. Um, Ray's gonna become a Sith Lord. The end. Okay. Welcome to Garbage Talk. Today we're talking about garbage. The Muslim rights in New Zealand. And Star Wars. I don't, I don't really think that um, a minority group should be treated like that. Jaden, okay. what, what is your thoughts on it? Um, you know what I think? But what about the droid attack on the Muslims? <laughs> what about the droid attack on the Muslims? <laughs> Okay, uh, there might be a bit of wind because we're outside, but uh... For once in our lives? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I just realized this is the last week Gao should for the uh, prop pops here. Maybe. Oh wait, um, Should we... We had that plan to do a last one where we recap the decade. Oh yeah. Should we still do that? Okay, let's do that. Let's well, do it on New Year's Eve. Yeah, I'll be camping. We, we have to do it like next week or something. Or oh, this okay. weekend. Okay, sure. And if, if I don't do it, then you can use this video as evidence that I'm an untrusty bastard. Okay. Yeah, Rise of Skywalker comes out tonight. Um, yeah. Or is it tomorrow, technically? Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. 12.01am. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, hopefully this video isn't out, like, too long after it comes out. Merry Christmas, everyone, if we miss you. Um, happy Valentine's Day, everyone, if we miss you even more. We're gonna, we're gonna take that much of a gap? Damn. <laughs> no, probably not. So, how we do with, like, the... the biggest question I have, or, mm. and that is, um... Carrie Fisher, what are they gonna do with her? Oh, I already know that. They're using deleted scenes. They're using deleted scenes, right? Yeah, from Force Awakens and Last Jedi. Cause they were like, oh yeah, we tried CGI-ing her once, it didn't really work, it's, it's... It's just a bit weird. Yeah, but... So let's not do that. How... But I heard that her daughter was gonna play it. You heard what? Her daughter was gonna play it. Really? I'm not sure how that would work. I heard it from Stuff News. Huh. Gav's talk sponsored by Stuff News, the greatest <laughs> source of <laughs> information on the web. Stuff.co.nz. <laughs> but, what... Well, no, the thing I... The, I, the thing I want to predict is, is she going to die Princess Leia? Um, She'd have to, right? Yeah, I'd say so. That kind of has to happen. Oh, also, this is um, this is coming from two people who skipped the trailer, and all the TV spots. So um, we've only seen the teaser trailer, so that's like all we know of the plot. Yeah, where she just runs on Jakku, eh? Yeah, uh, we know that Palpatine comes back. Oh yeah, because of the laugh. He, he's the big bad guy. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's on the poster as well. <laughs> and I think that oh, <laughs> I know that the Death Star is going to be in it, like the, oh. ru the ruins of the Death Star. What the hell is the ruins of the Death Star going to do there? Because um, in the teaser trailer, it showed um, like the broken Death Star sitting in the water. How many Death Stars do we have? And I'm guessing Palpatine's going to be in it. Nah, let's see. Uh, there was Death Star, Death Star 2, and Star Killer Base. Okay, so we've had three, right? Yeah. Well, there, there, there were a few other little things along the way. There was the Malevolence, Grievous's ship in Clone Wars. How he's like, ha, huh, Ion Cannon. And like, yeah, he kills all the ships with it. But that didn't last very long and it didn't really blow anything up. There was the droid control ship. They blew that up at the end of Phantom Menace. Do, they, do you think that they would like learn that building these super weapons and stuff to like... Oh shit, that's a beat. To win, um, you know, the, the war against the rebels. That's and, a wasp. And to crush the rebellion. Ah oh, shit, force choke it. <laughs> do, do, do they honestly think it's like a good idea just to keep doing the same strategy over and over? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's not. They're not making another Death Star. This is um this this is the last Death Star, but it's it's destroyed. Wait, the one made by the First Order? Um, the one made by the Empire. Oh, Death the one Star Two. Oh, um, Death Star Two. Yeah. The one that Palpatine was killed in, and I'm guessing they're gonna <laughs> find him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering how he's gonna come back. Oh, there is a wasp nest like right. <laughs> Right behind my seat. I'm gonna move this a bit. We are not sponsored by Wops. Yeah, I'm guessing they're gonna find the Death Star and Palpatine's gonna be in it. Just chill. And like, yeah. I don't know. How do you think he's gonna come back? That's one of the big questions. Well, is there such a thing as a Sith ghost? Sith ghost. Like, Force ghost. Yeah. I'm not actually sure. But maybe, maybe, maybe he doesn't come back as such, but he comes back and he's like... You know, like in cartoons and stuff they have like the angel and they have like the devil like telling the character what to do maybe you know. mm, I, I think it's going to be a bit more major than that I'd say he's going to be like the main villain in the movie I'd be kind of dumb dumb though 
stuff. I mean, it would tie up the series quite nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually it would. Bye. You know what would be depressing though? If he just wrecked everyone. You know what would be depressing though? If Luke turns to the dark side last minute and goes, yeet! Yeah, but he's, 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 he's back though. He's a force ghost now. Oh, I thought he's back back though. No, he died. Oh. Yeah, he's a force ghost now, I believe. He's gonna be in the movie. Um, and he's gonna, yeah. He's gonna wreck He's gonna be a good guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, you heard of how Mark Hamill's, uh, Mark Hamill's quite disappointed with what they did with Luke? Yeah, I heard about yeah. that. I watched a whole compilation of him. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, I saw, um, I think I might have seen part of that video. I just remember a part where he ranted on about um, how Transformers was made for money. Yeah. And then compared Transformers to The Force Awakens. Yeah, yeah I'm just like, hmm, makes me think. <laughs> um... And Harrison Ford, right? He he's like, yeah, you can bring out Star Wars, but you have to kill me off in the first episode. I'm just like, Bro. yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, how do you think Palpatine's gonna come back though? That, that's a big question. Like, how does he survive? Or yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't think you can force choke yourself out of like an explosion. Mm, well, he still survived. He's still coming he, back. He got liquefied. Got liquefied. I don't think so. Well, actually, if you think about it, Anakin left there and, you know, volcano pretty much, like, burnt and yeah. all this and stuff. He, he survived that. So, I think if you're just a Sith Lord, you can survive explosions and fire and stuff. Okay. Well, I'm thinking, it would make sense that he's, like, I don't know, he's, like, kind of gone, but, yeah, but like, not fully gone. He can be brought back. Like, because if he knife. if he was full on alive, then um, yeah, then what was he doing? Like yeah, the before, last two yeah, movies. Yeah. I mean, I heard the first order was like a emergency plan mm. to bring back um, the empire. The first order, aka the spa space space. Well, lenses. because he died in the Death Star, it, it would make sense that he's going to come. Well, and the Death Star, the same Death Star as in this movie, it would make sense that that's where they're going to find him. Yeah. So I'm guessing um, someone's going to bring him back to life. Where, where, where did the Death Star... Or they're just going to like walk in there and like awaken his spirit or something. And he's going to yeah, be Yeah, like... like in the cave, you know, episode 8, <sighs> the cave. Oh, yeah. I actually like that scene. That was a pretty good scene, my That was weird. Yeah, I think we, we probably talked about that last time. Um, yeah, hopefully... I think... I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but I think this is going to be better than episode 8. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, episode 8 was... It kind of subverted my expectations, but not in the good way. Yeah. I mean, Force Awakens... Was pretty good, actually. I love that movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know a lot of people were disappointed by it, but I think it's a pretty good movie. They, 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 they no, they really see. made the star... The, not the star, the Stormtrooper idea and thing, but then they kind of ruined it in so day but still they kind yeah because um yeah uh, uh, i've seen a few people point out how like episode seven his whole like character development was that he was going to stop running away and then episode eight the he first thing he does, asian girl he wakes up and he runs away yeah i think um i think i read somewhere that um there's going to be uh, they're going to explore finn a bit more in episode nine thank god um i yeah there might be something about his Parentage? Is parentage a word? Parentage? Heritage. Heritage? Yeah, I might have been thinking heritage. Parentage. That sounds like it should be a word, but it also shouldn't. You know, you know what I hate? How ref fridge has a D in it, but refrigerator doesn't. Refridge. Refridge. <laughs> that's, um, that's why I hate English language. Okay. So who do you think is going to die in this movie? I th well, Emperor Palp I think Emperor Palpatine's gonna get killed off again. Well, like, yeah. You know. they're, they're gonna have to find some way to finally destroy him. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say before. Okay, I was thinking last night when I watched The Return of the Jedi. Um, I think Kylo Ren might die, actually. Oh, he you, could. You, you know why yeah. Kylo Ren will die? Because what he's gonna do, he's gonna sacrifice himself for Rey. Hmm. But, like, much in the way that, that um... Like, redemption... Yeah. I just realized mm -hmm. if you're a Skywalker, you're you're pretty much just guaranteed to kill little children. 
Think about it. Remember how in episode 8, um, Luke was about to kill Kylo? Because he thought he'd sense darkness in him. And Kylo killed the whole temple? Yeah, exactly. I think it's a... Oh, God, that... Skywalk. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking... When Vader chucks Palpatine, like, down the big hole, and he, like, explodes, and there's just a whole bunch of light, what if that's, like, his spirit escaping? Okay. And, and what if it was, like, Voldemort? What if he's gonna come back like Voldemort? Well, here's a horror and yeah. He yeah. shoves himself. Yeah, yeah, because Voldemort, like, split his soul apart, okay? Yeah. What if when Palpatine gets chucked down there, his soul gets split apart, and he's, like, dead, but he's not, like, fully dead. So he's, he's just... like, still a thing. So, like, he inhabits but he doesn't, something. he doesn't, like, have a body or anything. Yeah, like Voldemort. Okay. And then Voldemort kind of just slowly made his way back, and that could be what Palpatine's been doing over the last 30 years. God. Or maybe he could always just make his way back, but he's trapped. Maybe they play the, chess to kill him. the Death him. Star that's blown up. Wait, actually, why is the Death Star lying in the water in the trailer? Because when oh. it blew up, it was yeah, nowhere like, near water. Yeah, 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 it was in space, eh? Hey? Maybe they moved the remains of it. Maybe it crashed down in Jakku. Maybe that's why Ray's down there. Maybe the First Order was like, hey, we're going to bring back the Death Star. Why? Why not? Hmm. The First Order. I mean, it could have just floated for 30 years and then landed on a planet. Yep. Or maybe they, I don't know, wanted to move it to clean space or something. Actually, that, is, that one doesn't really make sense. To make oh, space in space? We'll see. To make space in space. But, um, yeah. So, it's pretty much guaranteed Leia's probably gonna die. I think we can say that. No, it's either she dies early on or she's barely in the movie. Yeah, she's gonna die really early on a bit. Like, everyone can tell it's gonna happen. Yeah. Maybe it's just gonna start and there's gonna be a funeral. Oh no, that'd suck though. Actually, oh yeah, because we know she's gonna be in the movie. The so. feeling when General Akbar dies off screen. <laughs> Admiral Akbar, yeah. Oh, that was sad. Oh yeah. We should watch that soon. Okay. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, okay. So, what are like the top three things you really wanna see in this movie? I wanna see someone turn to the dark side and someone turn to, to the light. I don't know about you, but saying the dark side right sounds right, but the light side... Actually, no, the light side sounds right. I don't know why. But no one really says the light side or so. Lights are... Oh, I've said it a few times. Wind! Luckily, the hat protects all. The hat shall protect. I want... I want, like, Kylo to have, like, some kind of redemption arc or something. Like, how he, like, accepts himself and gets over... Teen, teen angst. Well, like, I want him to wear a like, shirt Like as well. Steve Harrington. <laughs> I was going to think more like Rocky with a K. I haven't but even seen Rocky. He's going to have like a box and... Oh god, that thing's going to kill me. <laughs> it should be good. Just, just stay cautious. Oh, oh fuck shit. off! <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, it's still there. God damn it! Go away, you piece of shit. My blood pressure's going out of whack now. Do you want to move to a different location? Yeah, this is this. We, is we got wind and we got wasps. Okay, um, <laughs> we're gonna need to figure out a way to pick up a hat though without um touching that thing. Okay, I'll get my heat job out. The hat. <laughs> oh yeah, gloves. Make gloves with that. I just chased it out. No, you didn't. It's in the flowers. I'm using my lightsaber skills! Oh, thanks, Samuel. Okay, there we go. Woo. We're still recording. Hey, look, it's the dogs. Okay, you wanna sit at the table? Okay, so my first one. That's the floor. So, Kylo Ren, I wanna bring back and see Ray. I want someone to turn to the dark side. Or, like, to get into a play Emperor Palace. And I want Luke to come back. Oh yeah, well I'm pretty sure Luke's gonna come back, because I think Mark Hamill's part of the cast. Um, but yeah, hopefully he does some cool stuff. I mean, I kind of, what I really want is just an epic ending that like ties the yeah, whole franchise the top, together. Yeah. Yeah, like... I want Anakin to come back actually now. I think yeah, I want Anakin and Obi-Wan to come back, and like Mace Windu and all them. Yeah. That, yeah, I, mm, I want some like epic scene near the end. Um, you know, like, in Endgame, how all the heroes kind of team up yeah, yeah. together. 
for the end of the movie. Yeah, I want to see that, but with like force ghosts. So there's just a bunch of force ghosts fighting, fighting each other. Well, not fighting, but like maybe it could be kind of like like. Oh, it's a yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some kind of like real motivational scene where they show up and they're like, oh, "You can do it, Ray." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and everyone just says, hello there, and just fucks off. Yeah, yeah. I, if he's in this movie, I really want him to say hello there. No, he just start probably with, won't, but... You should just start with improv help scenes laugh and then just, hello there! <laughs> oh, then he would have said hello there in every trilogy. Oh, yeah. Because, um, yeah, he says it in episode 3, and then when he sees, when he sees R2-D2 in episode 4, hello there. <laughs> yeah. Oh I, oh, I really want Obi-Wan to be in this movie. Yeah, basically I want all the old characters to come back yeah. and um, I want an epic fight. I want, I want, oh, the, I want cool. something to do with Kylo though. Kylo's an alright protagonist, not protagonist, but I guess like... Antagonist? Antagonist, but he's just... A bit yeah. edgy. I feel like he could be a good anti-hero, if that makes sense. Hmm, yeah. Like, like he has Loki. morals, but yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like more like a Han Solo kind of thing. Like you'd become well, like Han a Solo's dad. more of a hero than an anti-hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I want Jabba the Hutt to come there and just die. Oh, he should be in this movie. Because then, like, then he would be in every trilogy. How, how, about, how about he just gets possessed by um, Emperor Palpatine? Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, yeah, the Hutt Empire. Oh, oh, what? Like that blimmin' um, oh, in the second Lord of the Rings, that like, it was like a king or something. Like, gets controlled by Saruman. Oh, okay. Uh, until, like, Gandalf, like, whacks Ahsoka! it out of him. Ahsoka! Ahsoka. Imagine oh, Ahsoka came. Ahsoka should be referenced in this movie, at least. Yeah, she doesn't really have anything to do. She Because she's mostly Clone Wars, eh? Wait, mm. did she die in the Clone Wars? Um, no, she doesn't. She, um... She leaves in Clone Wars, and then she comes back in Rebels. And, yeah, she's there till the end of Rebels. And then one time up there, she just lives a peaceful life. Um... Well, no one knows. They haven't completed the story yet. Oh. Yeah, but that would be that would be cool if Ahsoka came back. Yeah, like, they should be the lightsaber helicopters, like Emperor Palpatine. Oh, I watched that. Wait, was that? Oh, I watched that the other day. Cause um, yeah, I wanted to watch like part of every Star Wars series as part of my as part of my marathon. So I thought the most important Rebels episodes were um, the one where Obi Wan kills Maul, and. Yeah, and the one where um, Maul first shows up, and then like Ahsoka fights Vader, and that's the one with the helicopter lightsabers. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, though. Every time they go to escape, they just pick them up. And <laughs> <laughs> that's light. That's light. <laughs> and that's not how the horse works. No, you know what would be a huge meme if like <laughs> if they were about to kill Palpatine and then he just escapes. Like, picks up a lightsaber, starts spinning around, just jumps <laughs> out of the Death Star, and then that's the credits. <laughs> it's trees. Remember that thing? Like, you Mary Poppins and stuff. Wait, wait, you remember that video you we were where the guy, like, it swings for the and he does. Oh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> the guy who jumps into a pit. Yeah, I, yeah. I love that so much. Oh, that's I need to like... find that for this video. It's treason. <laughs> ah! Oh, it sounds like someone just arrived. Oh, yeah, someone did. Like, is it one of our friendies? Yeah, uh, let's see. It is... Is it AJ? It's AJ. Probably let him in. Give me a moment, I'll be back. Okay, so, since Shane is out, I'm gonna say something here. Um, Jaden has the fattest crush on... Yeah, I was gonna say, um, I've got hoops for this movie. They brought um, J.J. Abrams back, and he made The Force Awakens, which I really like. Yeah, yeah, J.J. Yeah, and also I read somewhere, like, all the the, uh, the main characters of The Force Awakens are, like, gonna be back together in this movie, and, like, go on this adventure together, Hi. and, yeah, so they're gonna be teaming up. It's not gonna be like Last Jedi, where, like, where, they have, where, like three where different... Finn goes off and hangs out in a casino, and, yeah, Ray talks to a grumpy old man for most of the movie. Um, I think that's all I have to say, but, yeah, um... Uh, basically, how do you think it's going to end? Oh yeah, because this is the final, final, final one, eh? So... 
Yeah, should, well, we, just, uh, should well, we just gamble on something random? Okay, I bet it's gonna have a party like it had at the end of episode 6. Oh, they have to have that. Yeah. That's like the classic <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> ending. <laughs> With that music, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Ep episode 1, they have a party. Episode 4, they have like a middle ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode 6, they have a party. Yeah, they have to have a party in this one. But, okay, if I'm gonna make a prediction... Hmm... Um... Okay, so let's contact. just say that would be cool. I want to see that, but she'd have to be an old lady. Oh, yeah. Because this is like 30 years later. Um, hmm. Okay, let's say. Oh my god, he's here. Um, okay, Ray and Kylo defeat Palpatine together, but Kylo dies. How about that? Alright. Okay, By I'm the way, that. we haven't seen the trailer. I'll put $5. What's that? Yeah. Wait, is that a lightsaber? Oh, he has your birthday oh, presents. Oh, they're yours. Uh, Wait, I need to get this video. Wait, is this a lightsaber? That's yours. Oh, it's yours. What the fuck? Go open it. What the fuck? What the hell is this? So, AJ, are you gonna open are you ready to open it? Looks like a massive cock. Like, you could like use it for some IV fluid. Oh, okay. How do you open this thing? <laughs> 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 Who the fuck is that? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? That was taken almost a year ago in there. Oh, How do you open this? Okay. So that cost you to pay? Twenty-five. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> you got a big picture or something? Was that worth twenty-five dollars? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I think I know what this is. No, oh, this is mine! It oh. wouldn't be what? Oh. Wait. It's the only one I could find that would let me use. Wait, why? Was it like, you can't use portrait? Well, you need like a certain size <laughs> picture. How do you like open it? What size? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you guys ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Ah! I was next to I was here. <laughs> oh, it's the same picture! Wait, is it? Oh, well, it's pretty much from the same yeah. picture. <laughs> I was sitting next to it. The recreate it, you should recreate it. AJ, put, hold your arm up a bit. Like holding up a table. Why do the I couches look? are nearly connected. Oh. Look at it, it's the same thing. You guys should go in the lounge and recreate it. Alright, why not? What the fuck? Okay. Du -du -du -du. We're at the movies. Hey Samuel. Hey Samuel. Say something for garbage talk about being at the movies, about to see the movie. Mm, I like the seat. At 12.01 a.m. on December 19th. Sorry guys, it's my bedtime. Could everyone please keep quiet? <laughs> <laughs> My mum says no screens past midnight. <laughs> Eight o'clock for bedtime. <laughs> You're a growing young man. You need some good sleep. Hey, just imagine that, like Kylo Ren dies or something. Everyone's crying, and then oh yeah, bedtime. Yeah, hey guys, can anyone please be quiet? Do you think they're actually going to kill anyone off in this movie? Yeah, or they'll be... kill heaps of people. You think? Do you think they're going to do a Rogue One, or do you think they're going to play it safe and just be like, nah? Rogue One. We need to sell merch. If... No, it's such. <gasps> it's starting. Okay, bye. Okay. Now that we have seen the movie, uh, Samuel, are you ready to give our review? Reveal, eh? Re right, reveal for review. Hmm. Yeah. Where am I going to start with my review? Right. Should I go with the texture? The flavour? I don't know. Should we, like... Mm, should we kind of just, like, run through the movie, or should we, like, list the pros and cons? Oh. Uh, or should we do I both? Both. Uh, let's not describe the whole movie because I can't. I can't even remember it. Half of it. For, yeah. For first. Yeah. Okay. First reason. Um. Basically, I think uh, we both got out of there, and like our initial reactions were that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and still, I still looking back, I think it's pretty good. Um. 
No, this happened with The Last Jedi as well. Like, as I've seen, like, other reviews and stuff, it's kind of, like, shaped my opinion a bit. So it's kind of gotten a little mixed at this point. So, I mean, I think, for the most part, it was pretty good, but there were a few issues that I can think of. I can't think of anything wrong to VH, but, you know, lol. Should I just list those now? I'll get them out of the way. Okay. Before we get started. Okay. Um... Some scenes I feel like were a bit too quick, like especially the very start of the movie, how it kind of just skipped through everything and you're like, whoa, the characters are like here now and it's like, wow. And it just, I feel like it sets it up a bit too fast and you don't really get time to kind of, you know, get used to how things are now, you know, because it, it's quite a large gap between um this movie and the Episode last of- one. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If yeah. you compare it to um, episode 7 and episode 8, where it was like. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like, episode 8 happens pretty much immediately after. Um, yeah, so I feel like the pacing at some parts wasn't the best. Also, there are a few things that kind of just happened without explanation. Like, the, the, I think the fleet was a bit random. Yeah, a, a lot of it was really random. But yeah, for the most part, I th- yeah, I think my biggest issue was just the pacing. For the most part, the rest of it was pretty good. Um, the, I think and, they gave it justice. I think, um, I think it had a pretty good ending. But I don't know, this might just be me, but I feel like they could have wrapped it up just a little bit better if they tied in some of like the TV shows and stuff as well. I wish they showed Ahsoka. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Apparently, yeah. Uh, J. J. Abrams teased that she was going to be in the movie. Oh really? Yeah, and she was expected to show up in like a cameo or something. That's a bit annoying, to be honest. Um. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd seen um some of the Force ghosts, like Obi Wan and Anakin coming back, especially. Um. We hear Obi Wan's voice though, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess my main problem was just I thought everything happened a bit too quick, and I feel like the movie should have been a bit longer just to fit some other stuff in. Especially since you've got some characters who do, like, basically nothing in this movie. Yeah, I, I liked how C-3PO was part of the adventure in this movie. That was pretty cool. Kind of, much kind of takes me back to the original trilogy. I was talking to one of my friends, and he said that um, the readers of the original trilogy, and they were the ones that we watched the whole events unfold you know what i mean like there were like there were narrators like c c3 po and r2d2 oh, and yeah. they always had something to oh, yeah. do, they always had something to do they weren't just sidelined oh yeah 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 i guess so yeah that's true i mean r2d2 for the most part did kind of just hang out but he was just like beep, 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 and i was like <laughs> but actually yeah now that i think of it he did do some kind of useful stuff compared to the last two movies like last jedi he was just there and he was there for like no reason other than he's a star wars character like in this movie um uh they got that message into him at the start and that's how they found out Pal- palpatine was back and then you know at the end he was hanging out with poe and pose X Wing, that was pretty cool. Take me to the place I love. I like what they did with Poe. Really? He was he was like a commander, like a real He reminds you of like a new Obi Wan in a way, like, you know. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, I feel like this movie had too many characters. And that's another reason I feel like it should have been a bit longer. Like some of the new characters. It's gonna sound really weird, but I wish Leia died a bit quicker. Really? Like, all this, like, I think she had, like, a wonderful death. Like, should they actually pull that off really well? How? How she kind of was just like, hey, Ben, don't kill people. And Ben was like, oh, okay, Ben, not kill people. I feel like that was kind of random as well. Um, The whole thing about, like, Leia having the Force. Like, before then, I mean, in Last Jedi, she did the whole Mary Poppins, but, like, you know, the, and up until this movie... They didn't really explain, like, you know, that she actually went into Jedi training and stuff. Like, at the start of the movie, she's just training Rey, and you're like, oh, okay, I guess she knows the ways of the Force. 
And then at the end, it shows a flashback where um, her and Luke are training together, and they're like, wait, that happened? Like, why'd they never mention it? And also, she can suddenly just reach out to Kylo? That, I don't know, it just all felt a little bit random. It felt like a lot of things should have had um, a bigger setup. In my opinion. Yeah. I'm like, oh, something else I felt like there was barely any setup for was um the kiss. Between Ray, Ray and Kylo? Yeah. Yeah, because it kind of just happens, eh? Because it's just... Uh, I think they did that for fan service. I think they did... It was, it was more like a sympathy kiss, like, oh, you're dying. Ma, the end. Yeah, I, I just thought it felt kind of forced. Like, oh. <laughs> you remember, right, when it happened, I was like, oh, no. And then everyone kind of looked at me. I screw- I think I was the one who said, huh, gay. <laughs> really? Oh, apparently um, during the celebration yeah, yeah. of the end, you could see two girls making out. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Wait, I just, wait, 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 wait. I think I did see that. Wait. Jordan saw that. I saw that. I think oh, I've forgotten who did it, though. Yeah, I didn't catch that at all, but Jordan saw it and Luke. I think it was Rose. Too. You think it was? I think Ro- it was Rose. Really? I think. But she she kissed I... Finn in the last movie. Maybe oh, she's bi. Crazy. Oh my god, she's bi. I thought um Finn and Poe were gonna kiss at one point. At the end, when like Finn's alone and sees like everyone hugging each other and stuff, and then he kind of looks at Poe and Poe starts to walk towards him. But then oh, Rose, like, Rose does nothing for the whole movie, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Well, I guess because um, well, no one really liked her in the last one, they kind of just sidelined her. Yeah, I felt a bit bad. I feel and bad I, for the actor, too. Um, yeah, hey. some of the new characters, like Blumen, um, uh, that chick Janna, the Stormtrooper girl, who's introduced, like, maybe halfway through the movie... And she's kind of just oh, there yeah. for like, oh yeah, I was a stormtrooper too. And then for the rest of the movie, she kind of just hangs out. And nothing really happens with her. And same with um that chick who Poe likes. Yeah, um they did introduce some new stuff with the Force in this movie. And I guess that's kind of, I mean, they do that in every Star Wars movie. They introduce some new Force power, so that's... So that's... Yeah. glory. I feel like the Force is getting like... Like, heaps more random. Like, at the super start, it's just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like superpowers now. Yeah, and in New Hope, it's like, oh, yeah, it's kind of just this like... thing that, like, lets you, you know, feel what's happening in other places and, like, helps you focus and stuff. And then Empire Strikes Back, it's like, you can make things move. And then, yeah, and then Return of the Jedi, they introduced lightning. In the prequels, right. probably a bunch of other stuff. And then, um... Midichlorians! Yeah, and then uh, Last Jedi, we get, like, four Skype calls. And then in this movie, we get... Uh, what? Force mail, would you call it? <laughs> force mail. Yeah, the Knights of Ren. I just remember they were introduced in, yeah. like, one scene, and they kind of, like, were just there. And then they didn't do anything until the end where Kylo Ren, like, killed them all. Oh, yeah, that, oh. Yeah, I feel like they should have um, done something more. What about the whole spy thing? Spy thing? Oh, Hux. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, yes. Yeah, I think this movie's main problem was that so much happened. Um, and so little time to set it up. Yeah. Um, apart from that, I think everything was pretty good. But, um, I mean, Hux was, like, one of the main villains in, um, in Force Awakens, and then... And then he just gets stabbed on. Yeah, and then in this one, he kind of... I don't know. He's kind of just there for a bit of it. He doesn't feel fleshed out like he used to in other ones. Oh. Yeah. He's kind of just there for a bit, and then... Oh, he's revealed to be a spy, like, halfway through. And then he gets shot... Well, he gets shot like in the background, and you yeah, don't see him again. Like Emperor Palpatine. You, you're just like meant to guess that he died. That's kind of sad. Some of the pros, I am glad that J.J. Abrams directed this movie. I think I just like his directing a lot better than um Ryan Johnson's. J.J.'s 
I was talking and I said, I was, and the way I think about it is that it always feels like something's happening and it feels very symbolic. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't feel boring. Like you always feel like there's a deeper context to what's happening. Really? Yeah. Like it always, like I, I remember that when I was, I, I think one of my favorite scenes in the whole Star Wars is episode seven's um, lightsaber battle in the forest. I think that's oh, great. Yeah. Um, some of the pros, I thought it had a really cool plot. I liked the plot. It was basically a treasure hunt. And that, and that was fun. A treasure hunt with all, like, the main characters. And, and it was cool. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, they were trying to find him for a Palpatine. Yeah. I, uh, I really liked that desert chase scene. I liked the stuff when they were inside the Star Destroyer rescuing Chewie. Um, I, I kind of like the mystery element to it. You know, and I like that. I like that very, very well, well, probably just before the last scene, where where it's like the, his little cult, and they're all like chanting and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, I found that really cool. Why? I don't know. It felt. He's saying you want to be part of a cult, Samuel. Yeah. I actually wouldn't mind being part of a cult. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, this is the, oh, okay, well, if you're going to record that, well, just know that I'm not a part of a cult. <laughs> uh, I do you... see the biggest issue is the pacing, but still. Yeah, and trying to fit everything in when there was just too much. And again, so some things kind of happen so. without explanation, and they left a lot of stuff unanswered. They definitely should have made it three hours then, eh? Yeah, I, I would have watched it. I would have enjoyed that. Um... I mean, it is the final one. I feel like it would be... You know, they should have made it six hours and 66 minutes. <laughs> yeah, um, that's the thing. It's the last one. I feel like it wasn't, like... I feel like it didn't feel, like, finished it, enough it, it to be the last the one. It did not touch the prequels at all. Yeah, I, I feel like they should have linked up with those. And, um... Okay, do you remember... Um, I think sometime after The Force Awakens came out, there was a theory that Finn is Force-sensitive. Because, um, yeah. yeah, you remember me telling you this when we were rewatching it, because he can hear the screams of, like, the people dying on those planets when they're getting blown up. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, and he could go up against Kylo Ren pretty well, like, in, in the lightsaber fight as well. Um, yeah, and they touched on that in this movie. They kind of brought it up, but they only really hinted at it. It didn't really go anywhere. Like, I, I've, oh, I, I feel like Finn could have done more. He didn't really do that much in this movie that I would think of it. You know how and uh, Luke turns off his targeting weapon system? Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like Finn should have done something like that. And yeah. that would have been enough for me, you know what I mean? Mm. They wouldn't have to do like a whole character arc of him training or using force. But him just like naturally doing something would have been cool. <laughs> um... And there was other stuff as well, like, um, oh, Snoke's backstory. That was yeah, like, it's just made. Yeah, just... Palpatine's just like, oh yeah, I created Snoke. That's it. <laughs> and in, in the very first scene as well, and you're just like, oh okay. Lol. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that people really anticipated kind of got um. Disappointed. Oh overshadowed i guess uh, so yeah i feel like the ending could have been like a bit more final this being the last one like i feel like they should have linked it back anakin to should have shown up the prequels some of the tv show yeah I, oh, I really wanted to see anakin and obi-wan i mean we did hear their voices so that yeah, was okay. cool no. i mean they did they that did egg cool. rayon which was awesome yeah that... <laughs> wait, wait was... when we talking about that um the other day when we when we were trying to yeah, predict you know, it yeah you know i said that as a joke and it actually happened yeah, I was yeah. Like, wait, what? like yeah i was like oh i want to see all the force ghosts come back at the end and you're like what and what just cheer ray on <laughs> and cool. that's what like happened. if they actually showed up though and you want to be like you know, you know i had like this uh you know how girls make fanfics right yeah <laughs> i had this idea right so like kylo dies but and then um emperor palpatine and like ray are like both choking well not choking each other out 
but like they're, they're like force pushing and pulling against each other and then mm. all the ghosts come up and they start doing it too and, and it's like ah oh, okay <laughs> that would be cool all the jedi versus all the sith and then yoda comes out and just yeets them with some random ass lightning um oh they should have had baby yoda in this movie yeah, the oh the Mandalorian should have showed up. Wait, isn't it isn't this isn't the Mandalorian like way before this though? No, it's only like fifteen years or something. Huh. I still think the Mandalorian should take time during the Mandalorian Wars. Hmm. Um Yeah, anyway, I feel like uh it would have been really cool if they'd linked this to like the T V shows and stuff. Um because at the end when um all those thing just flies around, <laughs> <laughs> at the end when um all the blimmin', all the ships show up to help, like that was a really cool moment. But I feel like um it had a lot more potential, like, you know, we could have seen, we should have seen like other characters. Um, yeah, from like other places, especially the TV shows show up, like um. Like, Star Wars Resistance, I mean, that's set pretty much kind of during The Force Awakens and Last Jedi, and a bit after The Last Jedi, I think, too. Because it's set on basically this station, which then it turns out is a ship and can go through hyperspace in, like, the second season. Yeah, I um, I feel like that should have shown up at the end. That would have been really cool. Just this massive, like, floating station fighting against the Star Destroyers. Like, that would have been a cool moment. And I wish we saw Ahsoka as well. Yeah, Ahsoka. Should be, what, didn't you say she'd be quite old? Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, if she was a teenager in the Clone Wars, then she would be. Oh, yeah, she'd be as old as... Like, if, well, Anna, but... if Anakin was still alive in this movie, he'd be, like, 70. So. Oh, shoot. Maybe nearly 80. Um... Yeah, so a so yeah. would be like sixty to seventy, I guess. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind that. In conclusion, uh, my main problems with the movie they like it should have been longer for them to try fit stuff in because I felt like they tried to fit a bit too much stuff in. A lot of it was just really random. Um, the pacing was a bit too quick. But on the pros side, um. It was a fun movie. It had a fun plot. You know, there were a lot of individual moments that I really enjoyed. And I kind of just enjoyed the story as a whole. You know, there was some good action. There was some good... I, I mean, I love the characters. Um, and yeah, it, it had a good ending, I guess. Like, not like... Not like... Not like... It like, could have been better to tie together the whole saga, but... I mean, but it, it, was, was, it was good. It was a good ending to the trilogy, at least. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what would you give this movie out of 10? Uh, 8, eight or 9. I'd say, yeah, I'd say about 8. Um, do you think it was better than Last Jedi? Yep. I mean, I definitely enjoyed this more than Last Jedi. I like, I feel like it went more places in a way. It developed all the characters so much better. Yeah. What? Hmm. I'm not sure if it lives up to Force Awakens, though. Nah, Force, Force Awakens really had set up all the potential, but I feel like J.J. Abrams should have done Episode Eight. Yeah, then he could have... Because then um, all the stuff that he tried to jam into this movie, he could have, like, spread it out a bit. Yeah. Into Episode Eight as well. Like, if the Knights like of Ren... Like, Kylo Ren's is... struggle... He, I feel like that could have been emphasized in episode I, Oh, yeah, that, that happened emphasis. really quickly, though. At the start, he's, like, full-on evil, and then, like, halfway through, he's like, yeah, you know... Oh, my mom died. I'm going to be good now. Yeah. Okay, so is that what we're saying? Not as good as Force Awakens, but better than Last Jedi? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if I gave... So Last Jedi, I would get a 6 out of 10. Really? I, uh, I'd... Mm, I'd give that a 7 or 8. Force Awakens gets a 9 out of 10, and this would get an 8.5. Hmm. That's how I see it. It was satisfying. 
<laughs> it was very. It was, I'll say this though: it felt more satisfying than Force Awakens. You think? Oh well, what well, like after seeing the ending? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess so. Well, uh, that's. I am Ray yeah. Skywalker. Oh yeah, Ray Palpatine. Oh, we we didn't even mention that. It was a cool twist, I guess. I I, I kind of like the setup for it, like how um uh, she uses the force lightning and stuff, and then she's like, "Damn, damn, I'm evil." Oh, actually, yeah, One last thing, Chewie. I I've just had a few thoughts about Chewie in this movie. Now, well, he did. He actually did something rather than Last Jedi, where he just sat around. Um, and at the part where it makes you think that he just got blown up by Ray, it, it like, yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a... so depressing. Like I was destroyed at that part and then when he survived, was... I was like, oh, thank God. I thought they were doing was a bit cheap there. I was like, hmm. That was that. If they did, I, I felt like they would have dropped it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. No, I just remember that new droid as well. That, that didn't really do anything. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I actually liked him. He was pretty cool. But yeah, they um they just introduced too much stuff that they didn't really have time for. I guess. Um. Yeah, and at the end when Chewie gets a medal. That that was an awesome moment. I was like, ha, huh, lol. And kind of writes, really writes, writes the wrongs that have been made in the past. Oh, you know what I just realized? I guess Leia didn't want to give him a medal, but then Leia died. So he's like, ha. I'm getting the medal now. What am I thinking about at the moment? Yeah, it was a fun movie. It is worth a watch. Definitely. I would, re- I would definitely see it in cinemas. I don't think there's any real way to end Star Wars without you know. Yeah. Watch it that way. Oh, just, like remember, oh, it. just so much more stuff in this movie that I like. Like when Han Solo shows up. And when, um... Oh, yeah, that was cool. I, I'm glad hey, they got... Kid. I've gone too far, Father. No, you <laughs> have And, um, and when Luke... <laughs> when Luke picks up the X-Wing out of the water. That was like a yeah, flashback cool. to Empire Strikes Back. That was so cool. I was like, huh. Okay, then. Um, yeah, oh, I actually noticed some of the, um, just a lot of the references to the other movies. Like, there was a scene, um, that reminded me a lot of A New Hope, um, where the bad guys were, like, sitting around a table discussing their plans. And then, um, you know, Ren walks in, but in A New Hope, it's Vader walks in. Oh, and he's like, oh, you, I don't, I'm not threatened by you guys. And also, yeah, the X Wing coming out of the water, that was cool. There was probably some other stuff, but yeah. <laughs> uh, is that all we have to say? Um, what, what else do we have to say to the viewer? I don't know. Watch Rise of Skywalker. It's, I'd say it's worth it. Um, Actually, we just yeah. spoiled the whole thing. There's no point in watching it now. Oh. Spoilers. Palpatine doesn't die, he kills everyone. Ah, uh, oh uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Palpatine spins his lightsaber around in helicopters out of yeah, the place yeah. and escapes. Yeah. Just just like we predicted. That'd be funny if he actually did that, though. The end.